Hello and welcome back to Imperium Galactic Survival 1.8. Welcome back to the deserts of Skillet. Jeff, what you doing? You just pacing about out there. You're a bit weird, dude. Yeah. Flopping about. I don't even know. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Uh, we've got some pretty good weapons on us now. The T2 pistol, the T2 pulse rifle, the T2 shotgun, and the T2 sniper rifle. Everything is T2. Uh, we've lots of de deuce. Um, so a lot of you guys commented on uh, <laughs> some of my decision-making skills are, are somewhat lacking. I don't know. I'm a little bit behind on the comments, so, um, you know, I, I try and record a sort of a couple of days in advance and, and upload and stuff. Anyway, um, but some of you commented on my use of my radiation medicine over using the showers in the ship, which is, uh, there were so many of you commenting on that. <laughs> Actually, found it quite funny. Um, I did I did reply to a few of you, and it's like, yeah, could have used the showers. You're absolutely right. To be honest, when I'm running around inside that ship, talking whatever I was talking about, I just didn't think about the showers. <laughs> and it's silly because you kind of you look at radiation. Oh, I've got loads of radiation. Your first instinct, or you know, um, a first instinct that is a veteran player, I suppose, should be, can I get a shower? But I'd spent so much time making these radiation medicines that I was just like, radiation meds. I've made them, I shall use them. Anyway, generally speaking, if I do something like that, there's never a logical reason why. It's usually a very illogical reason why. A, I forgot about it. Or B, uh, I forgot about it. Uh, <laughs> or C, um, I'm, I'm trying to show something else, a different way of doing it. Um, whatever. Anyway, so... Uh, I, I I suppose I'm sorry that it, it triggered some of you so hard, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I do thank you for um, for your comments regardless anyway. Uh, it is always good to see you guys enjoying the show down in the comment section. So thank you very much for taking part and being here. Anyway, uh, Neo is processing as we speak. As you can see, we've got about 1,200 Neo ingots in there at the moment and the, the volos requires about 1600 uh exactly 1600 uh actually in order to to get the neo requirements of this ship met but as you can see we've we've hit the um iron we're about halfway through the carbon and um, we're just under halfway through the the titanium we're going to need a lot more cobalt a little bit more copper and a little bit more sathium and we'll be there the reason as well uh that i didn't set up shop in the crash dsc over there 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 are a couple of reasons when a crash ship like that is usually not level it's usually like at a wonk at an angle and try and live honestly and maintain sanity in a base that's on a wonk it, it ain't gonna happen it's horrible <laughs> It's just no. <laughs> and also, it's so full of holes that it would have taken me the last three episodes just to make that into a viable base that was sealed uh, and not spewing out like six rads or whatever it was spewing out over there. Um, so it's just, I, I did not want to go through the effort of turning that into a base. Um, you know, and it's not exactly difficult to move the constructor over here, really, once we've got the nightshade in. So, you know, there's there's, there's that. I, it's just a horrible place to make a base. Um, another of you commented as well on the collection point thing over here. This has been a bit of a hot topic as well. Um, the loot crate that I missed is actually right in there. You can just see it there. I did get it. It's, it was a T2 assault rifle and um, some silicon ore. Um... But yeah, I did pick that up. So that is to note as well. It's not just this box on the top. There is that one down to the right of the core. Tucked away in there. So there's that collection point as well. This whole collection point POI is supposed to be a drop-off point for the little drones that we see running around. The little salvages and stuff. Um, but there's, there's some issues with it. I think the developers are aware and working on it. Hopefully we'll get a sort of more... Um, I don't want to say fixed, but uh, a, a POI that makes a little bit more sense. I don't know. Perhaps that we can interact with. Perhaps that we can do stuff with. 
later on. At the moment, it's kind of a bit broken, but there we go. All right, so that, I think, is everything. There's a few other little bits and bobs, but not nothing to worry about. What we're going to do today is we're going to fly into space, and we are going to visit Akua. Um, I think we are also, if we got time, we'll visit Nas uh, Ninguez and Maspron as well. We have got, obviously, in the PDA, I'm not sure it's tracking it, but um, six, 6 of 16? Temperate experimental farm check. Um, find the teleporters, basically, is what we've got to do. Uh, we've got about 6 of 16 PDAs that we've found. The reconstruction, 1 of 16. I don't know where it gives us the, the latest info. Got to be honest. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> the latest info. Somewhere. Um, we, I think, yeah, we, we've got a few PDAs that we've picked up and stuff. We've got the key matrix. Uh, somebody also mentioned going to the activators, uh, but we already seem to have done that and nothing happened. I mean, I'm happy to go back. It's only up there. But we went to the activator, went, run around, and nothing happened. We have got the key matrix on us now, so perhaps perhaps it'll work. But I think what we've got to do is we've got to go to Akua. There were a bunch of locations on Akua. I think majority of the story parts seem to be uh, focused on Akua. So we're going to go there and have a little look around. That's some bullets. Shouldn't need. Shouldn't need weapons. There's a there's an undiscovered. There's an undiscovered. <gasps> there's an undiscovered. What are you? Large wreckage. Boring. Activator. Let's have a little run around this thing again. So I wonder if we need to activate the activators in order for the, the main portal to be active, if you know what I mean, you know? The actual round portal, the Stargate. Oh look! It's on! It's off. Done. It's off. Do I have to just stay here forever? <laughs> That's, uh, that seems a bit right. Now what? Okay, I have activated it, but as soon as I leave the the motion sensor field, it deactivates. I'm thinking we need to come back here at a later time. I I don't think we've got to the point yet um, where we need the activators. So there we go. But anyway, we uh, they do seem to respond to our presence. At least by powering on. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe later. Anyway, so let's, um, I need to pick up some spare fuel. We've got ammunition. I probably want, I got two emergency rations here that we've managed to loot from various places. Plus 52 energy bars, keeping very cool and fresh in our output box. Uh, so I think we're good to pretty much go. The only thing that I really would like is a freaking EVA boost, you know? Uh, but the EVA boosts cost gold. And there are no gold ingots from what I can... Well, there's no gold deposits from what I can tell from the map. Uh, like we did last time, we can select the various planets and see what deposits are there. None of them have, like, gold on them. Not even the other ones. Uh, tell a lie! Omicron has gold. Uh, I don't know how I didn't see that when I was looking through it. Omicron has gold. There we go. Okay, we'll go there. Did I loot any gold? I don't think so. No. Um, so EVA boost... Is it even something we could still build? Yeah. Requires one gold ingot. <laughs> so, so, basically, we can go to space. Um, but, um, that's it. After that, we're screwed. Let's put some spare fuel, then. I'm going to just put a little bit of spare fuel. I don't want to run out of fuel out there. So, there we go. Spare fuel. Um, the other bits and bobs and stuff are there. Let me put this down as well. Let me put output connect O2 station. Now, where does where can this go? I tell you what, it can go it can go there upside down. Look at that, beautiful. You wanted me to move into the ship. Honestly, disappointing. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, uh, let me also grab a couple of spare. Uh, hey, I'm gonna go cooler. Akur is a breathable planet, so I shouldn't need too much of that. Right, here we go. Let's go, let's let's go. We are going to Aqua. This is the first time we've been to space. This playthrough. So this is an exciting moment. Um I'm hoping that we don't run into a huge swarm of drones that instantly annihilate us. I'm sure we won't. This entire sort of uh, re kinda done start that they've done is very peaceful so far. Pretty chill, really. That's a Masperon. All those bloody moons are the other side of this moon, aren't they? They're going to fly over the top of it. Hang on. Um, it's literally the other side of this. 
<laughs> What's that? There's a Ninguez. There's an asteroid field in the middle. Yeah, let me do a little ping. Nothing. Um, and that's an Akua. There we go. That's got 19 kilometers to go. Right, a nice little trick when you're in space, right? Save a bit of fuel. At the moment, I'm I'm holding W to go forward, right? If I press I, bottom right corner is a little kind of ship icon with lots of arrows in different directions. If you press I, it, it turns those arrows on and off. So you want them off, and then you can let go of W, and the ship will just drift. It's beautiful. Inertia in space. We're doing 130 meters per second. And our thrusters are completely idle. Pretty cool, right? Every now and again, we'll just keep a ping. Oh, look, we got some asteroids. Ice asteroids. There's something up there. There's some stuff up there. Uh, Commander, I'm tracking a weak communication signal coming from Omicron, arid planet in the solar system. We should follow the signal. I do need that warp drive. All right, should we check out the stuff in space? I'm like, mm, but Akua is our objective, but I'm being distracted by shinies. We need to go and have a look. We need to go and have a look. Come on. What have we got? I mean, we had to go to space anyway. But I suspect if they've built the story around Akua, a known signature has been detected in its orbital sector between the four moons. Use a ship detector to find them in the mist of the asteroid field. Yeah, I see. I see. Should you? I freaked me out then because I was like, God, we're under attack. Frickin' Tavira class dreadnought just appears and die. <laughs> It'd be instant death. But they wouldn't do that. Using the uh, emergency attention signal seems a bit much, though. Yeah, so if, if the story is sort of driven from Akua, though, this would be out of sequence. But then I suppose we're already out of sequence by starting on Skillen anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. All right, so we probably need to turn inertia back on so we can fly through these asteroids without crashing into them and stuff. What have we got then? Okay, lots of stuff. So we've got asteroids. Uh, oh, hello. What's that? Asteroid field. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We got some spiky structure y type thing going on here. What are you? Okay. <laughs> what? And there's an asteroid field beacon. Uh huh. Unknown. Destroyed transport. Destroyed station? Hang on, let me check out this transport first. Destroyed transport this is, I'm guessing, just like an uh, an SV. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, you look like you're in actually fairly decent condition. Oh, is that that usual sort of SV from... Yeah, yeah, from ages ago. I'm, I haven't got an EVA boost on, so this is going to be a bit touch and go. Uh, warp drive. There's a warp drive, dudes. <gasps> There's a warp drive! <laughs> oh! 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 Under attack! Evasives! What the hell? Is that... Is that a... Laser drone. Bad. Oh, you're going to be even more bad in a second, sunshine. Yeah, you just crashed into a rock, didn't you? Oh, hello. So did I. But... We don't, we don't talk about it. That scared the living, but Jesus out of me, that did. Got him! Laser drone battered. Just how I like my laser drones. It's a good job I had some bullets. <laughs> Almost didn't have some bullets. It's only because I remembered, hey, I got that, I looted that 15 mil bullets. I'll put that in the Nightshade's ammo box, that'll do. Right, how, hold up, hold up, hold up. Connect. Give me the core. Core. Yeah. It's already got a core. Somewhere on this thing is a core. We need to destroy it. So we can get this warp drive. Oh my god. Um, Where is your core? Let me uh, turn my flashy light on. I know upside down right now. It's making life a little difficult. It'll be kind of quick here because... Uh, <laughs> I don't have an EVA boost. And I'm starting to freeze already. Um, Jesus Christ, where is the freaking core in this thing? Okay, I need to whip back, warm back up, and try again. Let's see if we can spot it from the outside here a second. Honestly, I have no idea. Some generators. Pentaxid tanks. If I was a core, where would I be? I'd be right there. Pop. 
public faction core anyway. Hold up. Mine! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't even need to destroy it. He just... It's public. Mine now. I didn't even need a core. Well, now we know. Don't, don't waste time looking for the core, guys. Just just change the faction in the control panel. <laughs> Alright, so we're connected anyway. So now, can we fit the SV warp drive? Yes, we can. And the Pataxa tank? Yes, we can. In the Nightshade's cargo boxes. Yes! Beautiful! That worked out, didn't it? <laughs> that worked out lovely. Okay, there's loads of stuff still in this ship. Um, that we can salvage down. We could either put it into the factory, or we can kind of keep it, I suppose. Because, look, there's loads of weapons on this thing as well. Rocket launchers. Wicked rocket launchers and pulse lasers. But be doing that right now is a little bit silly because, I mean, I haven't got an EVA boost on it and it's going to take a little while. Uh, I've had an SV with a little internal compartment. I could use the drone and do it all that way, but uh, I don't. So there was also um, the station. Where's that gone? Behind us, I'm guessing. Destroyed station down there, look. This will stay there because now it's mine. It's got my core in it, so I, I can come back and get that any time, right? <laughs> then we got this destroyed station. There appears to be a deactivated teleporter inside the station. Reactivating the station could be a way to use the teleporter to get to Omicron without having to use a warp-capable ship. Yeah, but I just got a warp drive! Oh my god! We're in it. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, I don't like that sound. Is it breathable in here? No, there's a giant hole in the side of the station. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of... Uh... Gonna eat that, though. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, there is a deactivated teleporter here. Teleporter is not active. Does that mean I can either get the station active or loot it and take it back to my place? There's a core here. Um, damn. Damn. <laughs> there is a code to those doors. Can I damage them? Yes, I can. Look at the little scorpy scops. Look at you guys. Is it oh, no, I don't want that. No, go away. Go, oh, go away, go away. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm stuck. This is not good. This is not good. I am literally stuck on the spot here. There we go. Just spam escape and S. Right. That was bad. It's not a good feature, Elion. I'm gonna freeze, I'm gonna freeze. Yeah, being doing the space stuff without an EVA boost is a bad idea. Okay. So, we can probably take the core out of this place, put our own core in. I think we could either turn it into our own space base, that would be pretty cool. Um, or we could, again, take it the, the F apart and just chuck it all in the factory towards our own CV. And it seems as that's kind of the route I want to go. <laughs> Although it is kind of cool to have our own space base this early on. This place is screwed though. This is not a quick fixer-upper. Look at the state of it. Oh my lord, yep. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna rip it apart and use the parts for our own ship. But we're not gonna do that again without an EVA boost of our own. Let's proceed as planned to Akua. But we know now up here there's a space station and an SV for us to salvage. Once we get an EVA boost. Welcome to a cure, everybody. There we go. Oh, look, my markers have come back. Sweet. So, settlement chief. Uh, there's a camp. Is that the science camp that we were at? Dig site terminus and supply bunker. Okay, cool. Well, the settlement chief is right here, so let's check him out. Let's turn inertia back on so we stop falling like a rock. Oh, a coup is nice, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> Salmon Chief! Oh, it's a farmyard. Hello, dude. Don't mind me. This appears to be a farm, however, very backward. No visible technology. Be careful if you talk to anyone there. We don't know if they have seen us falling from the sky. Uh, I've just parked a freaking spaceship next to them, but I'm sure they'll be fine with it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Screw the Prime Directive, right? Hello! <laughs> can I pick this? Apparently, I can. There is no consequence to picking the grain. Uh, in that case, then. 
prepare to have your feels absolutely ravaged gibbs wait can i yes gibbs that too what about all the stuffs all the seeds the fruits everything all your crops are now mine um thank you very much you're very kind very generous <laughs> love it um cauldron oh <laughs> don't lose too rare the best meal in the game <laughs> and i've had that one already okay settlement chief there doesn't appear to be anybody here um so oh seal of credibility talon guardians restore your reputation with a faction from hostile or unfriendly to neutral find this uh, find its ambassador or console of the the gin network okay fine i'll take that that sounds lovely and uh, i'll take that take, take that as well um if there's supposed to be someone here uh to talk to there isn't <laughs> there's nobody here <laughs> moving on <laughs> never mind um Hopefully, hopefully nothing nothing bad has happened and gone wrong there, but we we haven't found a console or anything, uh, uh, a PDA or something like that, so whatever. Let's try the camp then. I think that's probably the science camp that we uh, we found through the portal. Wait, the portal was back there? Wait, what? Hang on. Hold the phone. One second. Come about. There's the freaking obelisk. So, the science camp's got to be right next to that, right? Yeah, scientist camp. There it is. It's right below us. Okay, good. Fine. What is that? Plantation. There's just stuff around here. There's a whole world to discover. Activator. Oh, we found an activator. Resource. Iron. Carbon ore. Should probably dig out a carbon ore deposit or two. Get our carbon levels up for the for the ship. For the resource. So let's check out this camp then. Font of knowledge. Okay. Do we need to font of knowledge on this one as well then? This looks like another camp of scientists. Perhaps they were investigating the unusual structure nearby. Perhaps they were. Perhaps they were indeed. Uh, let us take their PDA. And let us read this one. Yes. Uh, something incredible has happened. After one of the strongest energy bursts measured so far, a kind of rift has opened up in space between the orbits of the moons for a few moments. Whether this is a consequence or the cause of the problem we see here, we don't know yet. We cannot make contact with the outside world at the moment. All communication systems are blocked. The obelisk has been glowing as if it is about to burn up. However, there was no heat, only a weak radioactive radiation, which we can still measure in the building and all the artifacts cool 12 of 16 all right we're, we're marching on aren't we we are marching on through these pdas we are going to grab this stuff though thank you very much for more gubbins giblets and whatnot um let's check out the funnel knowledge let's see if it gives us another little key matrix i'm stuck on a rock park there do i need to like jump or anything? Nine radiations. Damn. Oh, hello. Hey. Generated. What? <laughs> what? It sort of comes on for the briefest of seconds there, look, and then turns off again. Like the uh, the Wi-Fi signal is really limited in range. Like I stand here, it's off. I stand here, it's on. Um. It did briefly say generated as well. I'm uh, not sure. Got two of these things now. One is green and one is what? <laughs> what? What? Oh, quest alien deactivate all quests. Quest Baron alien. What? I think uh, I think I've got some debuggy stuff coming in here that shouldn't be in here. Anyway, okay. Well, whatever. Bottom of knowledge does nothing, so we shall move on. I mean, we've already got our E matrix, so we shouldn't need it, right? Uh, so the next one is the supply bunker. Let's go have a little gooseberry at that. Akua really does look fantastic now, I've got to admit. It's a good looking planet. Alright, supply bunker. 
There we go. This looks tiny. Oh, well, it looks like a bunker, I suppose. Okay. Um, turn the thrusters off, not the turrets. Not that it has any. I suspect this place is going to be give me the heebie-jeebies and the jeebies. Okay, here we go. Grab that ladder. All right. Nice. Good. I will use the shower to cleanse my radiation. Look, guys, I'm learning. Another minigun. <laughs> Body radiation level dropping. In danger of collapsing. Enter at your own risk. All right. I shall enter. I shall risk the biscuit. Hello. I shall have your food. Oh, yes. We are winning on the dino stews today. Okay. This is lovely. This looks like um, like a ready-made base. Okay. A little bit of a pain in the bum base. But, you know, base nonetheless. Hello. Ah. Okay. Flippida. Flippida, flippida. All right. Yeah, this is pretty much just like, hey, here's a base. Have it. <laughs> Ooh. Loads of stuff. We will loot it all. We shall loot it all. Little repair station. What means that? Can I take my armor off and repair it? Not that I need to right now, but... Um, hey, have you got an EVA boost? That would be amazing. <laughs> that may be a little bit... Am I asking for too much? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably a little bit. Anyway, we got the bits of bobs. There's a constructor here and everything. Um, that one's full, so we'll go into the ammo box next. Using these ammo boxes, like freaking um, there's nothing here. They're really, like bad guys or anything. Hello, oh, a console. Hi. Planetary risk assessment, location tracker, planetary survey data, and private user history. Um, location tracker. I'm guessing the scientist camp dig site. Of knowledge, experimental farms. It's all the same stuff, right? Uh, planet survey data, animals, plants, ores, private user history, new accessing private data, obligation, relevant findings. So it's exactly the same as what was on that console at the science camp, basically, isn't it? Alien core, very damaged alien core as well, because I'm guessing that the, uh, the game is like, here, take this base. <laughs> it's like, would you like this base? Is uh, it's pretty much right for the taking right now. Oh, hello. Little sneaky, sneaky little floor thingy. What have we got down here? Light. Need to be stuck. Okay, fine. What have we got down here? Loot! I will take your... <laughs> it's another T2 assault rifle and T2 pistol. Yeah. Let me know when you get, like, um... An epic minigun. I'll be happy. Anything down here? Alright, nothing down there. Here, uh, the other two then. Yeah, this is totally just a free base, isn't it? Alright, we've got a... Um, lipida. More stuff to loot. Oxygen. I'll take. Thank you very much. Lovely. Still no EVA boost. I'm guessing... Um, i have to take the core out to take the oxygen out of this place, but... Uh, you know, whatever. Flipper. Flipper. And uh, where does this go? <laughs> this goes to nowhere. This goes back outside, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. I made it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing the bunker is is a free base, isn't it? Really? Okay. Alright. Well, let me know if I missed anything there. I don't think I did, but uh, alright, let's move on. Next up is Dig Site Terminus. Over yonder. Do you know what? There wasn't any um, tablet or anything in there, was there? It's kind of a shame. Didn't see any, like, lockers or anything that we missed. Dig Site Terminus. Hello, hello, hello. An excavation site with an interesting energy signature. The site appears to be deactivated. Maybe turning it on will help us, or at least provide some interesting insights. Search all containers and look up for more logs and consoles. Yeah. Will do. Alright. Hello, hello. Oh. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you got up here first? Other faction. Lame. Can I, can I blast through? I don't think I can. Looks like um, looks like an admin core on this one. Oh, I don't need to blast. <laughs> giant hole in the side. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> Never mind. We do nothing. Um, I'm guessing that's like a toilet. Hello. Ever since the thing in the cellar suddenly came to life, nothing has gone right here. Breakdowns and equipment malfunctions are becoming more frequent. I hear a voice in my head saying, We have again urged Tash Aki Talen for more information, but she seems unavailable at the moment. We have provisionally sealed the entrance, isolated this console up here from the network so that we can at least still maintain operations. I hardly think that we will do any good in case of doubt. No one dares to go down there anymore. Unfortunately, the main power switch is down there. Sweet. That sounds great. That sounds like a fun little adventure. Here we go. We'll grab the last bits and bobs up here. Any, uh... No lockers with, like, uh, tablets in them. These things seem to be a bit of a bust, you know, with the whole tablets thing. I thought we were going to, like, absolutely burn through the last of those tablets, but... Can we get under there? I think so. We need to flip it at that. There we go. <laughs> well, it took three attempts. But uh, there we go. Hi. This looks great. Uh, same thing as before. Private user history, location tracker. All the same stuff. Okay, fine. Oh, Christ. It goes that way and that way. Can we flip it to that? Oh, yeah, we flip it. Uh, the tribal warrior seems to have been trapped here. I wonder what he was looking for. We should look for clues in the consoles and containers. Oh, there's a tablet. Yas! Things have escalated over the day after the recent obelisk outbreak. The troops have been put on high alert. No one is talking to a scientist. A transport ship exploded on one of the moons right next to an obelisk. Fortunately, no one was hurt. On another moon, a Bren freighter carrying highly toxic biological active substances has crashed and cannot be recovered. This will fundamentally change the moon's biosphere in a few hundred years. The voices are back as well, but now they say something different. It seems to be a warning. They are so faint, I cannot understand what they really want to tell me. Izani is hearing the same, but he does not understand it as well. Sweet. All going well then, yeah? Dicking around with alien stuff. Nothing down here then. Alright. Nine rads, dudes. This is, uh... Bad heavy. Hello! You're having some sort of issues. I swear there's supposed to be things in here, but nothing seems to be spawning. Um, there was no farmer at that Talon farm either. I wonder if something is going wrong. You know, let me just try AI on. I mean, it was. It's not like I turned it off. Oh, there we go. Look. <laughs> I had to turn AI on. What the hell? Why was it off? weird I never turned it off I don't understand it just sort of came to me it was like right I'm pretty sure that, I mean it's talking about a farmer dude there was nobody at that farm earlier I've been flying around going through these bunkers and whatnot and AI has been turned off ah uh, man I hope that hasn't done anything permanent damage to the storyline and stuff but we had to kill that dude he's done and we're out I guess we've got the tablet here I should probably go back and check the other sites, especially that farm, um, in case I missed something back there as well. Let's, I guess, check the bunker first. This is the other problem. Is like, um, where the hell is everything? Because all the markers have turned off. All right, let me backtrack a second, guys. Okay, so it looks like the only thing I missed in the bunker actually there was some damaged cyborgs running around. These guys are harmless. Um, I don't actually do anything. There is actually a loot container back here, look. Oh my god. Almost missed that one. Look at that. Cheeky, you just about see it through the gaps there, look. <laughs> well, sneak. Ooh, there's someone at the farm now, look. He doesn't look like somebody I could talk to. Oh, he is. Welcome, friend. What a rare occurrence. We haven't had a visitor from out of town in years. 
Uh, what brings you here? I'm on a search, Santa Borden. If I can, I'd be happy to help you out. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Sure, my friend. What would you like to know? Oh my god! <laughs> have there been any recent visitors with this logo on their suits or vessels? Hmm, let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, I haven't seen it here before. No one from the offworlders have been here uh, in the last few months anyway. If you want to find those people, you should look on our original homeworld of Omicron, conveniently located here in this solar system. If you've arrived by ship, you certainly passed by there. Ask the elders or the offworlders there. Maybe they can help you. Thank you. Uh, I have some more questions. Can you tell me something about you and your people? Meh, don't know. Is there anything interesting to discover here? Yeah, there is some like the fields of ruins. If you see a tall tower on the horizon, you can assume that there are lots of old walls there too. Uh, then there are the artifacts of a species unknown to us. Some of the offworlders must have tried to decipher them a long time ago. Their science stations, tech bunkers and surveillance camps can still be found. Some populated by disorientated robots left behind. Maybe these legacies will help you in your search. I have some more questions. Do you have something for me to do? There's always plenty to do here in our settlement. Just go to the people on the farms and plantations and ask them what you can do for them. Come back later. Maybe I'll have a task for you two then. Will do. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, plantation. Let's go. I think we're uh, about to get our first little questy quest. Let's turn the thrusters on. Let's go. Nyong. Alright, here we go. Plantation. Oh, that sounds like raptors. I don't like raptors. Look at them, look at them. Yeah, you have morons. You do realise, like... Why are my gats not firing? There we go. They got, like, a minimum range now, have they? It's new. Thanks for the help, Talon. Not... Hi. Stay out of the tall grass! <laughs> Raptors in the tall grass. Oh boy. Where are the other ones gone? I killed them and I can't see them. What? Ah, oh, well. Where goes that meat, I guess? I don't know. I see them. Oh, look at the grass kind of distorts when you run through it. That's really cool. They're really hard to see. That's the one I just killed, right? <laughs> I want the meat, but... Oh, wait, here, here, maybe? One of them? Oh, whatever. Damn, that is really hard to sell. Anyway, here we go. Plantation. Dudes. Oh, now I get some penalties for picking stuff. Look, except for the sack. That's a quest. Oh, right, let's talk to this dude first, then. Hello. Can you help me with something? Check open assignments. What are you offering for trade? Ew. Okay. Okay, so, um... I can buy all the plants, the uh, seeds from him. I can sell him some sprouts, crossbow bolts, health packs, antioxidant, toxic pills, and biotic pills and stuff. I can sell him bandages. My bandages. Get your own bandages. Would you like some meat? I've got some meat. Okay, you're you're rubbish. Um, can I help you with something? For next season, we need to start improving our compost and nutrient fertilizer now. The clutches of telluropods in the swamps and the marshes would make the ideal admixture for this. The only problem is the telluropods already carry their clutches around with them. They don't give them up voluntarily. Would you go to the swamp and get us some telluropod clutches? Times five. They look like spoiled food to me on the little symbol here. I do like this. That you know, It's like, here's where you go. This is what you're looking for. This is what we need. That's really cool. I like that. I will accept. Oh my lord. Um, quests. Where to look up info and next steps. Open the PDA, click on the drop down arrow of the desired group, e.g. Talon. Select the entry quest log. Click at the bottom and activate mission and follow the instructions. Quests that are tied to a planet will be cancelled if you leave that planet. Okay. Uh, do not display this note anymore. So, Talon. Super fertilizer quest active. Alright. Well, I can't activate that mission. I can, weirdly, I can activate the quest log. This is the quest log of the Talon faction. In the quest log, you can look information about your currently active quests as well as cancel them from remote. To complete a quest, deliver the quest item items the quest giver. Uh-huh. What if I activate that? 
Welcome to the Talon Quest Archive. Archive. The archive lists all active quests you have currently picked from the Talon faction. Make a selection from the following options. Temperate Moon Farms, Temperate Moon Plantations. Super Fertilizer. Oh right, okay. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Right, so if I had multiple quests and stuff, I could actually pick them up, I guess. Uh, simultaneously and run them simultaneously. I think that was the general idea from what I remember in the patch notes. Why is it always freaking dark on this planet? Always freaking dark. Anyway, uh, we gotta go kill some Telluropods. So, in our spaceship here, it's gonna be slightly difficult to spot them. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is find a swamp. And in our spaceship here, we can actually find that reasonably easy because in the top right corner, under the mini-map, it tells us what biome we're in. Um, which is bloody useful. Now, swamp generally be near water. So I'm heading straight to the water now. Quest location, super fertilizer is updated because we have entered the swamp location. So now we can park somewhere around here. We'll do. Unless it's a Tulluropod right there, in fact. Let's just turn the thrusters off. And let's go kill us some Tulluropods. Alright. Ready to go. There he is. Oh, I mean, his, his freaking... None of these weapons work underwater. Alright. That's not what I was looking for. Wait. It gave me one. Plus one quest item to the report clutch. But it hasn't put it anywhere. Confused! Vac confused! Alright, I need five then. I guess it's just a case of kill five teleropods and you'll get the five clutchy things that it's talking about, right? Wow, look at this. Titanium bearing. Oh, damn. Hold up, then. Oh, there it is. Put it in my connected. That'll be... That'll explain it, right? <laughs> it's put it in the connected toolbar. Uh, never mind. Right. Hang on, let me connect to this because I just found a massive titanium bearing rock. A thousand hit points! What the devil? There was nothing like this on Skillion. Oh, that gave me three three titanium ore. <laughs> Not worth it. Alright, let's move on. There's another one. Here's another one. Where the hell did he go? Oh, I got him. Sweet. Oh, the cheeky little devil. He got away. He got in the water. Where'd he go? Oh. They're a lot more timid than they used to be. Rap, rap, rap. Pretty difficult to hit them when they can only fire out of the water. Right, there's, um, there's three or five. Got him. You actually run along the bottom of the water pretty quickly now, to be honest. But it uh, seems to be a bit quicker than swimming, I think. That's five. Sweet. Get to the plantation and collect your reward. All right. There's the plantation. There it is. Right. That away. Can I return to a different plantation? I think that works. This isn't the same one. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. You're welcome. Just uh, removing that, that dead tree from your from your place. Hi. You're not the Talon. Uh, hello. Complete quest, super fertilizer. Boom! Collect reward. Quest complete! I did oh he gave me some grow plots. <laughs> he gave me some grow plots. I was kinda of hoping for some gold. Alright, I'll take your freaking grow plots, whatever. Groovy, groovy, thanks for the one grow plot. Uh hey. Right. Ooh, hello. What is going on here? Why am I so damaged? Is this because I've just been crashing into things? Since when has that been a problem? 
I've actually lost blocks here. There's only this is steel blocks as well. It's not like plastic blocks. <gasps> what the hell is going on? Oh wait, oh, no, it was that laser drone, wasn't it? Oh, I didn't realise that laser drone has actually done a number on me. A minute there, I was like, holy crap! Like, have uh, has has block sort of damage now happening as a result of crashing into things? No, I just got lasered. I got lasered. Okay, well, there we go. So that's one quest for the Talon. Now I'm kind of like, where do we go? What do we do? I think we carry on with our mission to um, get a friggin' CV in and warp over to Omicron. But there are a few more PDAs we need to discover. Was, we got two off of here. We got one off of, well, we got one off the science camp there, one off of this guy over here, and one out of, out of the dig site terminus, but not out of the supply bunker. Or from the farm, which I kind of suppose makes sense, I guess. Um, but if the oops, sorry, if the rewards are kind of one grow plot, <laughs> bear in mind we got like sixty grow plots out of that crash DSE on Skillet. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to bother if that's all right. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to carry on, move on. But I suspect that I don't know. Maybe the uh, oh, hello, T interesting. A technical structure on a rather rural world. Be careful when approaching or looting it. The facility may still be guarded. What are you talking about? What? 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 What are you? What? What are you talking about? Technical structure. I don't understand what the hell you're referring to there, Ida. I really don't. There's plantations everywhere. I, I wonder if the quests get a little bit more rewarding the more uh, you go through them and stuff. To be honest, I'm not sure, but um. I think the next objective really is to go to Omicron. Um, tech ruins. Maybe that's what they were referring to. Well, that just looks like a normal base. Oh, hello. The cheekies. Assault cyborg damaged. Well, that's my 15 mil spent. Alright, we'll deal with these guys. Yeah, what? Down. Coolant. Coolant. Alright, cool. Yeah, see what I did there? Cool. Yeah. Um, some air. Some biofuel. Three beds. And not much else going on, really. Lay <laughs> here. For a tech structure, I am not impressed. Although two freaking, I know they're damaged assault cyborgs, but still they got those laser guns. They are deadly little bastards. They are. Okay. Um. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off exploring Akua here and try and reveal all of the POIs and discover them and stuff like that, so that we can see what we're dealing with here. But otherwise, I think we're going to head back to Skillen. The rest of the vicinity seem very old. Go closer, but pay attention to the surroundings. Maybe we can find out what happened here. This tower is surrounded by a field of ruins. It is possibly the remnant of an earlier settlement of this planet. Look around carefully. Maybe you will find something interesting. We keep an eye on the surroundings. There could be dangerous animals here. Okay, so this is like one of the last things. Like I've got a, a talent thing down there, I suppose, to discover. But uh, this is a lot of ruins. A big old tower. And some silicon. Um, let's have a quick look around here because I think in the ruins themselves probably ain't gonna have much. And there's a few barrels and stuff there to loot. Probably get a fair bit of food out of these. Yeah, there's a few barrels on each one of these by the looks of it. I think the main one is going to be the tower there, isn't it? And <laughs> raptors. <laughs> Alright. I will park. Oh crap! <laughs> I need to reload. I was like, I was super clever then. And they I get you while you're while you're facing the wrong way. All right, let's let's give these a little reload, shall we? Okay, a few more raptors dotting around. Let's have a quick look up this tower. Let's see if we can find anything. 
where that shot went, but whatever. <laughs> and another one, look, the Diddy one. Oh my god, there's a wall. Oh, okay, it's the entire family. There's so many of them! Oh boy! Hi. All the meat. I'll have all the meat. Okay, whoa, hello. Now you're all hungry. But, uh. Meat is not. on the menu for you, just for me. There's like little raptors and big raptors. All the raptors. All up in the tall grass. <laughs> Look at them all. This is just a freaking killing field here. You all done? Are you all done? That all of you? Smashing. Oh my god, no it's not. Look at them all! <laughs> so many raptors! What is going on? Get out of here! You crazy bastards. Look how many of you I killed already, yeah? This is not good for you. You need to just leave. I don't want to be responsible for your genocide. Literally, I'm getting so much meat right now. It's awesome. <laughs> I have steak and burgers. I mean, in fairness, this guy wasn't doing anything. I just freaking murdered him. He was chilling. Steak and burgers. Steak and burgers. Hell yes. Right. Put that meat in the fridge. Alright. Let's jumpy jumpies. Into the tower we go. I suspect there's nothing out here on the outside. We've got some barrels. Put that in the fridge. Green beans. Love it. Alright, up we go. A little bit more. Do we even need to come up all the way up here? I mean, this is like from Yoldi Land. This is. This is a well old POI from well old ago. I was kind of hoping for a, a tablet, I've got to be honest. got to be honest. I was hoping for a tablet. But nay. There is like a motion sensor here that I have triggered by standing right in front of it. <laughs> you can't really get out of that. <laughs> the motion sensor is active. Oh, I could see quite far. <clears throat> um, you can see all the other ruins around. But yeah. Doesn't appear to be anything here. I couldn't find anything else in those ruins. And there wasn't really anything else on the planet there uh, to help us with what the hell is going on. I think, to be honest, we've we've had the clue. We need to go to Omicron. Um, so I, I'm going to explore Ningwez and uh, Maspron in the next episode. Just to see if we can get those last few tablets we need uh, to complete, you know, the 16 ultimately. But I think, to be honest, it's given us where we need to go already. Um, so I don't think it really matters if we get the last few or not, but I want to do it anyway, just in case. Then, of course, we've got the space station and the SV in the middle there. A little bit difficult to deal with without an EVA boost. Uh, but if I can get the CV in, then it doesn't matter. I can just use the drone from the back of the ship. Uh, to that end, you know, we should have hopefully the 1600 Neo we need in the constructor processing. Now, the rest is is really of no consequence. The Cobalt is the most difficult, uh, but as we know, we think the Cobalt is down on Ningwez there. So we, a little bit of mining down there, and we'll have that as well. So that'll be, uh, I think, the subject of the next episode. We'll explore the last two planets, see if we can get the last 16 uh, of the 16 tablets, and get our new capital vessel in. Uh, now that I've got the warp drive for the SV, <laughs> it's like, hmm, do I actually need it if we're that close to getting this, the, the capital vessel in? I'm not sure we do. I'm not sure we do. So my other instinct is to put the shield generator here in the uh, nightshade instead, not the warp drive. 
and we could put that warp drive towards the cost of the capital vessel. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably better. We're so close to getting a capital vessel in. I don't see any reason not to pursue that. So let's do it. That's going to be uh, the subject of the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. The hell am I?